Hello guys, this is ELX97, and I'm here to give an open letter to Gaijin Entertainment. Dear Gaijin, War Thunder has by far been your most successful game, and it has evolved drastically over the last two to three years, from new vehicles like 1950s jets and tanks to 1990s jets and 2000s tanks, as well as a naval mode, to new mechanics, maps, event types, and on and on. It is currently February 2024 as recording this. Gaijin has released their new yearly roadmap for the year. The update expected for March is fast approaching, and expected for the update airwise are the F-15C, the SC-27K, I think, the Gripen C, and modern active radar missiles like the AMRAAM, R-77, and whatnot. Also in addition are things like a fuel slider, a Steam Friends list integration, improved sinking of object destruction, and a fix for duplicate weapon groups on certain planes, as well as other good improvements I hope Gaijin sticks to. I really do appreciate Gaijin giving things like the roadmap and constant hotfixes and compensation when the servers have issues not related to players. That is very kind of you guys. What I need to ask Gaijin for, however, are two big things I feel, personally, and many other players probably feel the same way, are exponentially going to amplify the experience in game and help Gaijin gain trust from the player base on their end. Trust is a finite resource, and maintaining trust with your player base is crucial for any developed trust that your decisions, words, and suggestions are helpful for your player base and for creating the best game you can possibly make that is fun for as many as you can hold within your niche. Now onto my two big requests. Number one, a proper in-house custom anti-cheat that is not the current easy anti-cheat. And number two, a revision of all current game modes in respect to any outdated mechanics and constraints of which the vehicles in the modes have, considering things like engagement ranges, error of said vehicles in the mode, and so on. Let's get into the first one. Flat out, easy any cheat is repeatedly regarded by gamers in the know as easy to cheat any game using the software. This is coming from people much more knowledgeable than myself in the realm of understanding the vulnerabilities, crackability, and exploitability of EAC. Gaijin should instead do this. Hire or consult current cybersecurity positions within your department. Discuss how to go about making a proper custom anti-cheat, and see if your team can make something better than EAC. Not only could this improve the catching and elimination of cheaters as well as their tools, it could be a good marketing pitch for the game to say you have a good in-house anti-cheat. And that, to me, shows dedication over just simply licensing a pre-made service. My second ask is not simple at all and will require more explaining. I will use Air Realistic Battles as my benchmark talking point with this discussion, as that is what I have more experience with. ARB, as it is, as discussed in previous videos, the community views as dull, repetitive, and not fun. I at first disagreed and listed reasons why in my first rant. Then I saw where the truth lies. After watching the creators who commented, like Steel X Wolf and Will is Awesome, it became clear to me my original opinions, while some make sense, most of it was not the view of the community. I have since followed up with my second video discussing the responses received and my realizations about the truth. In truth, I bought my way to the top. When I got the F4S, I didn't play it all the way to the F-16C or, or the F-14 and such. I spent a few hundred dollars on GE to make sure my crew was aced, my mods were unlocked so I didn't have to stock grind, and so on. I regret not experiencing the full grind, but there is no going back. I missed all the troubles with BR gaps, down and up tiers, bias of certain nations over others, and basically I skipped all that. I however learned what was wrong with therapy by watching others, simply seeing what their eyes saw and what fundamental problems need fixing for the game to take off. I personally think we should start fixing stuff with adding ARB in during conflict. Enduring conflict or confrontation as some people call it is air sims only game mode and it shows the potential of objective based gameplay while quite a bit of the player base wants but can't get within the base ARB mode. With enduring conflict I would mirror the map's objective and such from sim and include the realistic flight model and control scheme it should not be that hard in my opinion Q time as i've heard is a previous excuse gaijin used to leave error being during conflict not a thing and i think that's bs currently the player count is too large to give such an excuse if Q time really is an issue still for gaijin 
revised matchmaker processes to efficiently fix them and maybe consider giving the servers an upgrade. More computing power probably means lower queue times. Another key thing Gaijin could do to make ARB enduring conflict work is advertising, and not just a patch notes line like some features have received in the past. Do playtests, do content creator incentives to try it out and make videos on things like that. In closing, I think doing both of these things will drastically change the game for the better. It's crucial to guide and listen to their players' feedback, as many are asking for especially the ARB Enduring Conflict Edition, and it would be extremely rewarding for Gaijin and the players to add it. As for the anti-cheat, like I said, it's free marketing and better protection, and that should be a no-brainer. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.